I'm going to be having a special announcement at the end, so keep watching because if you don't, then you're going to miss an amazing announcement and it's going to blow your mind. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set standards in your relationship and uh, how to know if you're being picky, which is a really common question. Most of the time, a lot of us don't realize that we have standards in our relationship. So what I mean by that is that we have an upper limit and a lower limit of what we perceive to be an acceptable amount of or treatment, love or commitment or things like that. So for example, uh, just as a really side example, what's the difference between someone who brushes their teeth uh, every morning or someone who brushes their teeth every morning and night? And often it comes down to the amount of fuzz that they feel on their teeth. The person who brushes their teeth every morning and night has a different standard in which what they can actually allow for their life. So it's the same thing with your romances. So I find that people often have an upper level and a lower limit of their standards. So a standard might be like what you perceive to be okay to be treated in a relationship. And I've said this in the past, but you know, with your lower limit of your relationships, you should always uh, turn your mistakes into standards. So, you know, maybe you've been in a relationship in the past and you've actually been hurt for one reason or another, that should be turned into a standard. Sometimes people go out of relationships thinking that they don't wanna ever feel the same way ever again. And so that's what I feel like uh, with when I refer to standards. Now the upper limit is kinda of like, well that's kinda of like growing a tree, you know? As much as you wanna water the tree, that will keep going. So there is no limit to an upper limit. But generally speaking, standards are what I would say what we perceive to be normal. Generally speaking, what happens is in, because of a lot of pop culture and because of a lot of media, a, a lot of people talk about standards like it's this big thing of like, you gotta assert yourself and you know, you gotta have standards, girl. Like this big thing of like, you have to really push or enforce your will onto other people. And that comes out of a lack. That comes out of a maybe someone was hurt in the past and they think that that's the only way to get their love or that's the only way that they wanna feel love is by forcing it on other people. A standard doesn't have to be that. One of the best standards that you can have is that you're gonna treat other people with the same respect that you deserve. And in kind, when you do that, then you're gonna receive that. A standard might be that, you know, maybe you don't wait around for too long when you're, if you're dating a guy online, for example, if you're flirting with him online, that you're not gonna wait for too long because sometimes people wait for months. I find people come to me and they have a lot of relationship problems that stem from online, that, you know, they've been dating a guy online and they've never met him. I'm like, well, that's your problem. You haven't actually met him because the relationship actually hasn't started. So maybe that could be a new standard. But generally speaking, your ability to understand your standards, so understanding what you want and what you don't want and what you're willing to settle for and what you're willing to work for is what can make or break a relationship. And knowing yourself and knowing who you are is one of those things that a lot of people don't do. Because if you don't know yourself and you don't know what you want, then you're gonna easily fall into someone else and what they want. So at the start of this video, I talked about a special announcement. Uh, and if you're in Melbourne, this is going to blow your socks off. And if you're not in Melbourne, maybe this is the chance that you ever wanted to come to Melbourne. Because on the 2nd of April, I'm gonna be running a Power of Standards workshop. Now this is gonna be a free workshop for now because I'm expecting this to actually blow up in a way that is going to potentially change the way people look at relationships, dating and love and life. So in this workshop, we're going to be uncovering your standards and coming up with an amazing new set of standards so you can actually design how you want your relationships to be because it's not me forcing my will on this. Like we've come up with a a system which I call the destiny metaphor system, which I personally use for myself and I personally use on my clients. And if you come to this workshop, you'll be able to use it yourself where you can design your experience, so design how you wanna feel and how you wanna see, and you can look at relationships in an entirely new way, which will allow you to have the love and life that you actually deserve. So one of the big things, for example, is that if I was to ask you the metaphor, if I was to ask you the question, if you were to put a relationship as a metaphor, some people put as, you know, love is pain, that all love equals pain. And if they think that love equals pain, what's gonna happen is that that's their standard. So if they go into a relationship, that's what's considered normal. And every time they you know, start dating someone, they're gonna be looking for the pain. And is that maybe someone you wanna date? Like, do you wanna be dating someone who thinks love is pain? Uh, and if that's how you think, then it's up to you, you know? But uh, if you're looking for something a little bit better or a more of an upgrade, you know, we might come up with a new standard or a new metaphor for yourself that might be like, you know, all love is an adventure. Or love, I'm my favorite metaphors for this and I love coaching people on this like way of looking at it, 
is that relationships are like a garden or like an intermingling garden. And I've recently gotten into trying to make my basil plant survive. I'll put a photo here. You know, for example, if you look at relationships like a garden, and well, you look at it. Well, you've got to water it. You can't overwater it. You've got to look after the. You've got to look after the plants. Different plants need different forms of attention. You might have your own garden as well that overlaps with someone else's garden. So you've got to look after yourself just as much as you've got to look after them. And if you come into a relationship looking at it in this way, if that's your standard for a relationship, then maybe you have a completely different experience as someone who thinks about it as all love is pain. Just maybe. So. It's up to you about how you want to look at love. Uh, but if you come to the standard workshop, we're going to completely revolutionize the way that you do it like this. So that way you don't, if you're going through a lot of hardship, you kind of know how to look at it in a way that you can, it's like I'm giving you a whole new map because sometimes you're going hiking, right? And someone gave you a map. If when you were traveling while using this map, if that map was wrong, you probably end up in the wrong place. So what we're gonna do is come up with a more accurate, more amazing, more compelling, more incredible map for you. Google Maps? Yeah, like, like better than Google Maps. This is gonna be yourmaps.com. No, <laughs> that's not a real thing. Um, yeah, better, like Google Maps, but you're like, what if Google Maps was wrong? You'd probably have a hard time navigating. And that's what media does. That's what social media does. That's what movies do, is that we've been given a wrong map. That's how sometimes parents are just kids having kids, that our parents give us a map of how relationships go. And that itself isn't necessarily the most accurate thing. So if you're in Melbourne, come to my workshop, 2nd of April, uh, link in the description or um, click, I don't know, somewhere on YouTube, there's a thing that pops up. If you're on Facebook, there's also some things that I'll put somewhere, somewhere down below. Uh, and uh, if you're not in Melbourne, if you're somewhere in Australia, come or if you're somewhere else in the world, also come, because I'm using this as the stepping stone for something amazing and greater. So if you miss out on this, you're potentially missing out on history. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, also um, make sure to like this video because if you like this video, then I like you. And uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos on life and love and how the two come together. All right, thank you. Mwah and mwah. Yeah, cut.